Welcome to this new video on theories in five minutes. I'm Nuria Tordera, senior lecturer at the University of Valencia, and today we are going to talk about a very influential approach to the study of leadership, the full range leadership theory. The full range leadership theory emerged from Bass and Abolio's studies in the 19th as an intent to provide an integrative view about leadership behavior and has become one of the most influencing leadership approaches of the last decades. It produced a change in the predominant paradigm in leadership studies, turning the focus to the emotional and charismatic aspects. The roots of this theory can be traced to different authors, but the central point to the development of this theory is Barr's differentiation between transactional and transformational leadership. Barr's considered them as distinct leadership styles that refer to different types of leaders. Transactional leaders base their behaviors on a cost-benefit exchange process and are focused on meeting followers' low-order needs, such as security or survival. On the contrary, transformational leaders are focused on followers' higher-order needs, such as self-actualization and self-development, and aim to raise in them the awareness about higher ideals and moral values. This distinction is further elaborated by Bass in the 80s, applying the concepts to the organizational context and providing a broader definition of both dimensions and the factors that are part of them. Contrary to Barnes, Bass considers that both dimensions could be applied simultaneously to foster leadership efficacy. Thus, the theory considers both transformational and transactional leadership as components of effective leadership. Bass also includes a third dimension, the less fair leadership, which indicates an absence of leadership. Bas and Abolio identify different dimensions in each component. Regarding transformational leadership, they identify four factors. Idealized influence as the emotional component of leadership refers to the attributes and behaviors that show the importance of leaders as role model, emphasizing shared values, instilling pride and showing high moral standards. Inspirational motivation refers to the behaviors directed to raising followers' expectations by providing meaning and demonstrating confidence in their capabilities to achieve goals. By using intellectual stimulation, leaders question the status quo and followers' assumptions, appealing them to come up with new ideas and new ways to solve problems. Finally, individualized consideration refers to leaders' adaptation to followers' achievement needs through creating supportive climates and providing personalized development opportunities. Transactional leadership, in turn, comprises three di dimensions. First, contents and rewards consist of clarifying the role requirements and rewarding the behaviors that lead to the expected outcomes. Management by exception refers to corrective actions when deviation from the norms or the expected behaviors are detected by the leaders. It is considered to be active when leaders monitor the exceptions in a planned way and passive when leaders just wait until deviation occurs. Finally, less fair leadership includes avoiding taking positions or making decisions. Empirical studies define a hierarchy related to outcomes ranging from passive avoidant leadership to active constructive. In particular, the four dimensions of transformational leadership have been identified as the best predictors of effectiveness. The full range model has been measured by the multifactor leadership questionnaire. The questionnaire is composed of descriptive statements, which are measured with a frequency Likert scale. Two versions exist, one for leaders and one for followers. Although the theory has received broad empirical support, it is not exempt from criticism. Main critics concern the overlapping between different factors and the need to identify more clearly the behaviors relevant for leaders. Recent studies also underline that the model needs to incorporate other aspects of leadership that are relevant for understanding effectiveness. Uh, although tra the transformational component requires leaders to be morally uplifting and possess ethical values, research, research has shown some concerns about this aspect showing the possibility that some leaders learn or are trained to look transformational, but without developing a moral basis. 
Those leaders have been described as pseudo-transformational leaders. Avolio and colleagues have insisted on the need to develop authentic transformational leaders, connecting the full range theory to the concept of authentic leadership. Leadership with a clear moral center, characterized by a transparency, fairness, and a balanced decision-making process. But that's another story. Thanks for watching and see you in the next theory in five minutes.